not forgotten. It's been 26 years, and I still think about my grandfather, Ronald Charles Klein. My father was even named after him, Charles Jeffrey Klein. He passed away when I was only six years old. I really can't remember much of him. I remember swimming in a pool at a campground and seeing his thumb with a black nail. And I remember him doing this trick with his thumb and splitting it into two. I always wondered how he did it. My dad doesn't say too much about him. I think it still hurts. I know he thinks about him, though. He's fascinated by movies and documentaries about World War I and II, and he has an army helmet in his garage, and he claims it's authentic, bullet dent and all. My grandfather was in the Second World War. He was one of the fortunate ones. He came back alive. Just thinking about what he did and lived through brings tears to my eyes. I don't want his sacrifice to be in vain. So I talked to my own son about how his great-grandfather had risked his life years ago so that today we can be free. Just a few months ago, my son used his birthday money to buy an army helmet. He assured me that he didn't want to be in the army. It's okay, Mom. Nothing's going to happen to me. My grandfather moved from Great Britain and worked in the United States after the war. He then moved to Canada so his son would not face a draft and endure the coldness of war. Personally, I don't like war. I don't like people dying. However, I'll always remember and appreciate my grandfather and the peace he fought for me to have.